Meantime, the Jody Arias movie doesn't air on Lifetime for another nine days, but tonight, ABC 15 was given a preview of the sultry love affair that ended in a brutal murder. ABC 15's Adam Slinger covered the trial and just watched Hollywood's take on it. And Adam, give us the review. What'd you think? If you liked following the trial, Steve, you will probably like the movie. It hooks you in, but it might be a little strange for people here in the Valley to watch. After all, this all happened right here. This is a movie for people who love to hate Jody Arias. Most of the preview too violent to show you, just like the saga from the real life trial. I did not hurt Travis. Some of the dialogue is word for word what was said in court. Were you crying when you were stabbing him? But these courtroom scenes that dominated headlines for five months make up only about five minutes of the hour and a half lifetime film. All right, that's enough. Okay. No, come on, let's just take a couple more. The movie is really about the sordid and steamy love hate relationship between Jody Arias and Travis Alexander. The simple answer is that he attacked me and I defended myself. Just as the jury did not buy Jody's version of what happened, neither did the producers. Come on, face the wall. How about when you cut his throat? Were you crying then? <laughs> I don't know. The movie basically follows the same plot lines prosecutor Juan Martinez laid out during the trial. Every step of the way, as she's stabbing him, she knows that Mr. Alexander is hurting. And after watching it, you'll wish it really was just a movie. And Travis is portrayed as a guy with a lot of charisma who pretty much just wanted Jody as a toy. Uh, Jody comes across as a jealous psychopath. Steve and Katie, Dirty Little Secret premieres on June 22nd on Lifetime. Yeah, you almost feel guilty if you sit down and watch it. Thanks so much.